Yo guys, my name is Cruxel, and today I'm sharing with you a super quick tip for making the Wastard, aka Son of the Witch boss fight in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands super duper easy. This works with any build and makes things super simple. I know this boss is really annoying to farm in Chaos Chamber runs or just in general and can be a huge headache for y'all. So hopefully this makes this boss fight much less stressful for you. So to make this boss fight easy as pie, all you need to do is focus on getting yourself two specific pieces of gear. Don't worry, they're not super hard to find. The first of which is a purple sigil spell. These can be farm from vending machines or world drops and you see them all the time but have probably skipped them because of their damage it's utter trash well they definitely have a use now credit to reddit user jochin hs for pointing this out but you can use this spell to simply block pretty much 99 percent of his projectiles that he shoots at you assuming he is not inside the sigil with you when you activate it this is clutch if you are finding yourself getting insta down by his attacks as they could be quite difficult to strafe away from as they are super rapid so hopefully this helps out with your survivability in this fight a ton side note i try this with a green sigil spell and it wasn't seeming to block all the projectiles so go for a purple one to be sure if you are finding his attacks are still getting through not sure how these spells work exactly so it needs further testing to say which ones will absolutely block all projectiles but a purple one will do the trick the second item i recommend you farm for in order to make this fight super cheesy is the rain of arrows shotgun this thing is already one of the best items in the game so make sure you farm for it in general but it also has a special use for this boss fight in particular i find i'm getting a lot of them from chaos chambers if you just feed the shotgun bunny, you will get one eventually. Many of you out there are frustrated like me with this fight at higher chaos tiers because of his annoying spectral ages that he spawns almost non-stop which recharges his shield. It's impossible to see sometimes and has a ton of health, so if you don't have a DPS focused build or completely optimized build, this thing is your worst enemy. Thankfully, you can use the rain of arrow shotgun to absolutely melt this annoying little turd anytime he spawns it pretty much instantly, as well as do huge damage to Wastard's overall health at the same time. This combined with a sigil is easy easy money and it makes that intense middle phase of this boss fight just that much easier for you. Trust me, you will be so happy when you try this out and see just how simple it makes everything. And just a heads up, this is not a simple get this gear and cheese the boss you will never die type thing. There still is some strategy to all of this so don't expect to just overnight learn how to destroy this dude. But both of these things truly do help you out along the way. Just a couple extra tips for you. Make sure you are utilizing the many obstacles on the battlefield while you are waiting for your sigil spell to recharge and you're vulnerable as you can hide behind these things and they will block lock his projectiles while you're waiting for that spell to come back, allowing you to not get shredded in the meantime. The second tip I have for you is to obviously focus on maxing out your shotgun ammo SDUs as this rain of arrow shotgun shreds through ammo. If you are finding yourself running out mid fight, try to either kill the skeletons on the field to get some ammo. You can open up some chests. There's some on the side and make sure you're focusing on only using the rain of arrow shotgun when he spawns that spectral Aegis as there is an animation before he does so that will give you a fair warning and enough time to where you can switch over to the right gun. You can also remedy this by purchasing ammo capacity upgrades during your chaos chamber run if this is where you are fighting him so yeah hopefully these items and tips helped you out when it comes to fighting this terribly annoying boss i really think he needs a rework but if it did help you out or you enjoyed this video at all please drop a like and consider sharing this video slash subscribing to my channel i'm trying to make a ton of tiny tina's content in a style that i don't see being done on youtube yet so i appreciate your support in any capacity check out my twitch as well link below and down in the description if you want to catch a stream we have an awesome community over there and once again my name is cruxel and until next time, peace out.